Right, so finally we have some evidence that does suggest we should see new products very soon at some sort of spring event, and that's because we do have filings within the Eurasian database for the iPhone SE 3 and the iPad Air 5. And so let's delve into it guys, but first, make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors, and with that being said, let's just talk in. Right, so in case you don't know, Apple tends to file their products in certain databases before they launch. And so of course, when our Apple trackers find this information within the database that does suggest these new products are launching very soon. And that's pretty much what's happening here because we have filings for a new iPhone model and also an iPad model that we believe should be the SE3 and the iPad Air 5. So in case you're wondering, the model numbers for the iPhone are A2595, A783, and A2784. On the iPad side, we have a lot more entries. We have A2436, A2696, A2759, A2437, A2591, A2757, A2761, and A2766. Now, why are there so many entries for these devices? Well, of course, do remember there are different variants of these models. For example, with the iPad, there's going to be a Wi-Fi and then a cellular version that's made for specific countries. So one for the US, one for China, etc. Also, I'm not sure, but colors could also play a factor in this, since we should expect the iPad Air 5 to come in a variety of colors like the iPad Air 4 does. And of course, on the iPhone sides, we are going to see three color variants. And so that could explain why we have so many different model versions. Now, unfortunately, the Eurasian database gives us no information regarding the devices. They've just been filed and the average time for a product that's been filed in the database to actually release is around three months. And so, yes, I think we can be confident we can expect to see these products at the upcoming spring event. In fact, since we're in Jan right now, I think we may see an April event again for these new products. And it's not just me saying this, Mark Gurman, the very credible leaker has also said this. And so yes, we can expect at least these products to launch at some sort of event. Now, in case you're wondering about the upgrades coming to both of these devices, they're gonna be pretty minor ones. So for example, the iPhone and the iPads are getting the A15 chip and also 5G support. However, the iPad Air 5 is gonna be incorporating some of the changes we saw with the Mini 6. So that is center stage on the front, a flash on the back, and also maybe new colors. So yeah, these are gonna be pretty minor changes. And to be honest, I would not be surprised if Apple just goes ahead and has press releases for these products instead. In fact, we did see the SE2 launch via press release in April. So we could see the same thing happen again, where the Air 5 and the SE3 drop within the same week. However, I am praying we do see bigger releases at this spring event, namely the iMac Pro. I think that's a product a lot of you guys have been waiting for. And so fingers crossed, we do see some sort of database filing for that iMac very soon. Anyways, tell me in the comments below guys, which products do you think will launch at the spring event? Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Make sure to like and subscribe for the latest Apple news and rumors. Check out the video in the card above on details regarding Apple's VR headset. And on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya peeps.